Hello again everyone. Today we're going to be talking about these bad boys. Nunchucks. The fancy flary sticks of pain. Uh, so first thing I'll mention about the nunchucks is if you do intend to try and practice with these and learn how to use them, uh, you're better off starting with something more like these ones. These are foam nunchucks. Because the lighter they are, are a bit more difficult to use, but that just helps you to get better at practicing with them, really. Uh, you don't want to try something more like these. These are sort of hard rubber, or you can have wooden ones. And uh, when you're learning them, you really don't want to use them because you'll probably just hit yourself in the head. <laughs> or do something silly like this. I would also strongly recommend that you do not use these indoors or practice with them indoors especially while you are learning them and still getting used to uh, certain moves for reasons like this. So to start things off with these I'll just go over a brief sort of history of the origin of this weapon uh, well to the best of my knowledge anyway I've heard quite a lot of different stories about nunchucks and their, their history and their origins but to the best of my knowledge this is originally a, a wooden rice flail and you whack down the rice whack down the rice with these and um, essentially in those sort of that time period, uh, only samurai were allowed to carry weapons on them. So peasants and farmers had to find other means of defending themselves, and using these and finding ways to use it as a weapon, as opposed to just a farming tool. So that is essentially the origins of this weapon, to my knowledge, anyway. So now we know the origins of the weapon. I'm just going to show you a video of this nunchuck kata that we do in Jiu Jitsu. And I just uh, I thought I'd show it because I think it is a good little sort of routine to go through to sort of get used to handling the weapon itself. Doing all the throwing and catching, handling it in different ways, getting used to it. So I just thought it would be a good idea to show you. So when it comes to using this weapon, there are sort of three main stances that you can strike from with it. I mean, there are a couple of other different ones, but the main sort of three best ones that you see most commonly. So the first one would be like this, out in front, nice wide. And if someone else has like a stick or something, you can catch it. We can trap their arm something similar you can also strike very rapidly from here like that just let go of one and let it fling out the second one is sort of this over the shoulder this classic one so grip it over and under like this you can just bring it over you can practice like this practice slowly you get the hang of it. 
from here you can drop this one and fling this one over. Or you can do a double strike where you sort of rotate the wrist. Or you can come underneath like this. Do a sort of strike. Third one we're going to look at is the under the shoulder one. Like this. Catch it under your arm. Just trap it in there. So to strike from it, you can basically just pull and pull it like that, and then you can let it go and it'll fling out. Like that. And you can catch it again if you pull it back. Add a bit of a snap. I'll also increase the impact of the strike as well. So that's the sort of three main stances that you'll see with nunchucks. So there are a number of different techniques that you can do with this weapon. So things like sort of uh, trapping someone's wrist and doing a throw with it or to like go around and take the neck back and such but um, I'm not really going to cover them in this video, I'll probably save them for another time. But um, really I think the key strength of this weapon, not its sort of throwing or trapping abilities, it's more of it, it's fast and unpredictable striking and you, when you hit with it you essentially hit it as if it's a stick like a longer stick but you get extra force from this that's called get some extra whipping action and it helps and it's you know very fast very quick and some unpredictable you can uh, kind of just unleash a hail of different strikes and it can hit pretty hard so I think that's the real key strength of this weapon okay so for a little bit of a bonus clip I'm gonna demonstrate how to do some cool stuff with it so it makes you look like you know what you're doing a bit more now you can there's this sort of roll over trick where you just sort of roll it over your hands like this it's not the fanciest trick in the world but it's quite simple uh, but I'm going to show you how to do the um, the movements for the nunchuck scene in Enter the Dragon so it starts like this in this sort of wider stance and you want to flick it down here like this from here go here then you 
grab it underhand like this, you've got to make sure you leave enough space to grab it like this. So you're holding it like that, and you go one, two, three, four, so it's like, oof, oof, like that. Again, here, down, grab, one, two, three, four. It's basically that same thing repeated twice over. Um, and it looks kind of like this when you do it at full speed. Just like. Like that. You can mess around with it, just try swapping stances, doing different stuff. with them. But like I said, don't do it inside of with a proper solid one until uh, you know what you're doing. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this time around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I learned a few things about these cool weapons. Uh, if you have any other questions about them, you can always ask me directly through whatever means you want to. Next time I'll probably cover the Tonfa, which is the sort of wooden baton, the sort of police baton. And yeah, I'll probably talk about that in the next video, but until then, see you next time.